hi and hello, Chris here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know, hi, my name is Chris. I live and work out of my SUV full time in Canada, the west coast of Canada. And whoo, it's getting chilly. It's not even winter yet. What happened to fall? Where's fall? Can we bring back fall, please? Thank you. Anyway, yeah, the nights have been getting pretty chilly. We have been hitting the negative temperatures. The last three or four days has been like, you know, anywhere between like minus two and minus four. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Cold, cold, cold. But, but, I'm okay. While it is a tad bit chilly, my friend, bless his soul, lent me two wool blankets. Holy game changer on so many levels, like wowzers. It has been a lifesaver. So the one wool blanket I put underneath me, it's folded in half, so it's kind of like a double layer. And the second wool blanket, man, I want one of these so bad. We can't get them here in Canada. I don't know why. Like, stop. But anyway... It's wool on one side and Sherpa on the other. Wow, like that thing is so warm. I can't even with it. It is stinking amazing. Um, I did find it on their website in the US, $200 US. So that's about 300 Canadian, but they don't sell them in Canada. They stopped selling them up here. So many things have stopped being sold in Canada. Nobody wants to deal with Canada. We lost some spaghetti sauce. We lost some pizzas, some random foods. Like people, they just say, no, a Kleenex, I think. Kleenex is one of them. Maybe it's Kleenex. Some brand, a lot of brands are pulling out of Canada. I'm like, stop it. Anyway, those wool blankets have been a game changer. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do when he asks for them back but you know one day at a time right now i'm okay they are warm and oh okay i'm not going to mention anything now but i have such good news oh my gosh so in one week in one week i will make a video again and share the good news i'm so excited that i just can't hide it I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm ecstatic. What is on the agenda for today? Well, uh, we're, this girl's going to be taking some Tylenol because I am hurting. I am a hurting unit. I pushed myself yesterday because I needed to just get caught up. I needed to get some extra money because there's some things that I need to buy. Like I, it's like urgent beside my bills and I push myself for those of you that don't know I do gig work to make my money and yesterday I did Instacart 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 and I had the app on for 11 hours I worked seven of those hours and you know I did take a break here and there like one time I sat for about an hour and a half $300 I pulled in yesterday. $300, but I needed it because, like I said, there's a few things that I need to buy and some bills I need to pay. So, but now, today, I'm feeling it because that was a lot of shopping, a lot of groceries, a couple basement suites with stairs, but that's okay. I got a really good workout. Sometimes you just got to hustle. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? Any hoodles. On the agenda today, we are going to Mitsubishi. For those of you that do not know, I've been having problems with this crazy car of mine. I call her Christine because she's alive. Um, they are going to replace or fix the exhaust system because apparently there's a huge hole in my muffler. Yes. How they did not know that when they sold it to me is beyond me. Tell me again that you did the inspection. <laughs> Just kidding. When we sell cars here in Canada, uh, BC, I don't know if it's all across Canada, there needs to be, I think they call it a 101 point inspection. Clearly that was not done because what I've had to replace the battery, the windshield, 
we have to fix the exhaust. You know, those are things, obviously, that wouldn't be hidden from a normal inspection. They wouldn't show up later. Any hoodles. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're going to get through this. We are going to get through this. And, oh, and they're going to diagnose my fob again because my fob was going off the other night. Did I mention it in a video? Maybe I put it in a pinned comment. I don't know. But here I am, 10 o'clock at night, and I'm in the back. I'm all covered, and I'm getting, like, literally undressed. And my <laughs> doors start unlocking and locking. The lights are flashing, and I'm like, oh, here we go again. Because they reprogrammed it, and it lasted a whole week. But then it went off again, and I wasn't even touching it. It was sitting, uh, I don't even know. It was crazy. So they're going to diagnose the problem which I'm thinking after the reprogramming and this diagnosis the amount of money that is spent wouldn't it have been reasonable just to get a new fob I don't know whatever I'm not paying for it so we're gonna do that we're gonna work a little bit this afternoon we're just gonna take things as they come um, that's that's on the agenda today but hopefully they can get the fob fixed today because I hate more than anything sleeping at night and not seeing the red light flash that it's locked. I mean, I check it and I double check it and I triple check it and I get all in my bed and hunker down and then I get up again and make sure it's locked. It's, it's nerve wracking, right? And not only that, when you're doing Instacart, like yesterday, almost the majority of my orders we're in apartments, so I had to lock the vehicle. So then you have to take all the groceries out, come around, <laughs> lock the door, pick up the groceries. I mean, it's whatever, however, but still. It's, you know, when I'm spending this much money on a car, I should... What the heck is that noise? Sounds like a dying bagpipe. Can you hear it? <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> Um, when I spend this much money on a car, you would think that I would have like keyless entry and, you know, all that good stuff, but we'll see one thing at a time. That's about it. That's about it. I'm so excited for next week. I cannot believe it. Oh, and I did get my platform built. I did not film it because of the people that were working on it and you know I the privacy and stuff like that but it's just it's basically just a board on some um wood like it's, it, there's nothing fancy to it I don't know how I'm going to do my shelves yet I had a plan for my shelves but then looking at the way the plastic comes down off the wheel well I'm not sure how I'm going to do that but you know one thing at a time and uh yeah we're, we're getting there we're slowly getting there and the thing that I'm doing and I'm being very very mindful of is the fact that everything that I put in here has to easily come out because we are on a mission to get into a van oh yes this girl wants a van, without a doubt. Anyway, I got a few minutes to kill before I head into town to the Mitsubishi dealership. So I'm going to run over to McDonald's. I'm going to use the restroom, grab some water. Do I want another cup of coffee? Do I want more coffee? Probably. Anyway, well, let's go.
Okay, hello. Well, that half hour to an hour ended up being two and a half hours. Ay, ay, ay. And it wasn't even there. I wasn't even there to fix my exhaust, my muffler. Oh, this dealership is going to be the best of me, I swear. Anyway, um, I said, what do you mean you didn't fix it? He says, well, no, we had to diagnose, diagnose it first. And then we order the part. We need to do, 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 because when I was at the dealership, they said, oh, yeah, you have an appointment Tuesday. They're going to replace it. No. So now I have to go back again once the part is there. But the good news is it's going to be done. And they did diagnose my key fob. And it turns out the key itself is faulty. So I have a faulty key. So the whole key has to be the whole key has to be replaced. Now I could have got it done today, but it was going to take about another two and a half hours because then they had to go send the key to get cut and then come back and then reprogram it and blah, 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 blah. He said, or we can do it all in one shot when you come back to do the muffler. And I said, let's just go and do it all in one shot. That way I'm not wasting any more time. Time is money, honey. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I just wasted. Oh, this guy's coming up fast. He's much larger than I am, so I'm just gonna let him go, yes. Um, but the key was under warranty as well because it was faulty. And I said, well, it makes no difference to me. One way or another, somebody was going to pay and it was not gonna be me. It was either gonna be the dealership that sold me this Cracker Barrel car or the warranty. Someone else is paying for all these shenanigans. So they're going to call me. They said it takes about five to seven business days for the muffler or whatever. There, I guess there's a there's a crack in the seam. So that's why it's under warranty because it's like seam stuff or something. I don't even know. Any hoodles. It's all good. So I'll have to take another day off when, uh, but that's okay. Days off are important once in a while. I was just on a roll and I like it when I'm on a roll and I'm making good money, but that's okay. I still have a few hours left in the day. Honestly, I'm really not in the mood to work. I have the app on. We'll see if something entices me then I will go do it, but I'm not going to go just do stupid stuff because I've made enough money yesterday to compensate for today. Any hoodles. What is the most important thing right now at two o'clock in the afternoon? What is the most important we ask? Coffee. We need coffee. I'm a little hungry, but that can wait. Anyway, coffee first. A hundred percent. Let's go. This always, always, always makes me feel so much better. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. While I'm sitting here debating on Instacart and work and life, I thought I would show you the blanket that I'm talking about. Look at this thing. So this is 100% wool on one side and then Sherpa on the other. Oh, it's by a company called Woolridge. And man, I just love it. And then, I, of course, I got the blue underneath me as well. But that's, this has been a game changer in the middle of the night. Let me tell you. Anyway, just thought I would share that with you guys. Okay, that's it. I'm tapping out. My giddy up is absolutely officially gone. 
I am 100% exhausted physically and mentally from this stinking car, me doing 11 hours yesterday. I'm not complaining. I'm so glad that I pushed myself yesterday because of how long I was at the dealership today and everything else. But I'm paying the price. I'm going to take some Tylenol. I went to the store. Look what I got. Oh my gosh. I just wanted some comfort food. And I got like a chicken pot pie and it was only $7. Chicken pot pie. I don't even remember the last time I had anything like this for comfort food. So I'm going to eat this. I'm going to watch a little bit of YouTube. And then I am in McDonald's parking lot because free Wi-Fi. Hello. Maybe watch a little Netflix. I got some dude just staring at me right now. What are you doing? Why are you joking? You don't puff pie. <laughs> I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> he thought I was he thought I was talking to the pot pie. <laughs> I thought you finally flipped. <laughs> That's so funny. He was the one that lent me the blankets. Um, he's like, I thought you were talking to your pot pie. I see. He goes, I thought you finally flipped. I'm like, well, okay, I'm flipped all right. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just going to chill out. Free Wi-Fi at Mickey D's. Chill. <laughs> he's still shaking his head. Chilling like a villain. And I'm just going to chill out here for a little while. It's still super early. As you can tell, it's still daylight. It's 5 o'clock have my dinner chill then I'm going to run up to the rec center tonight to sit in the hot tub because my back is feeling it today so I'll sit in the hot tub for a little while and then hopefully have a good night's sleep it's only supposed to get down to two degrees two degrees celsius tonight so at least we're not in the negatives anymore whoo but yeah so that's it I'm tapping out I hope everybody's doing well staying safe until next time.